What up, what up, what up? Got the, the windows open on this beautiful day here. So, this one's going to be quick, but I did want to hop on here real quick because I just got word that um, Ugas and Spence are fighting tomorrow. I don't know how this slipped past me. I've been mostly watching the zone shit because I bought it last year, and uh, it's just easy access for me. Like, it's just, um, you know, like a channel on my TV or whatever, and... Uh, or an app on my TV, whatever you want to call it. My kids keep me super, super busy, so I'm definitely not up on boxing the way that I used to be. I used to watch, you know, fights on Wednesday night. I used to go to amateur fights in the in the Bronx and gyms and shit like that. I used to watch everything. Don't have the time to really do that stuff anymore. Um, but I still, I still should have known about this one. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why I didn't know about this one until now. So. It's going to be quick because the fight's tomorrow, and I have not watched anything on this at all. I have not watched any type of all-access, the weigh-in, um, none of the training camps, no YouTube videos, nothing. But I will give my, my prediction real quick. I'm going to say that Spence takes this one. I think mathematically it's going to be a pretty convincing win, like an 8-4 possibly 9-3 type of thing, um, but I think that almost every round is going to be pretty competitive. I think Ugas is one of those guys, you know, Cuban fighter that, I, I mean, it's the same thing with 99% of Cuban fighters. Their they're basics and their, their technicalities and things like that are, are very sharp, very on point, um, and they utilize the actual, you know, their system of boxing very well. And they're, they're tricky, tough guys to deal with usually. Usually have, like, good footwork and shit like that. So, very technically sound fighters and stuff. So, Ugas is one of those guys, man. I mean, I thought he beat Porter. Um, the He actually did beat Pacquiao. Granted, that was, you know, that was an older Pacquiao, no question. But that older Pacquiao is still capable of beating some great fighters for sure. So, it's still it's still a good win. Um, it's not Pacquiao in his prime, but it's still a good win. So, like I said, man, Ugas is one of those guys that I think that Ugas can kind of give anyone trouble or kind of make anyone look bad type of thing where it's like you, you might win the fight, but, you know, I don't know, man. That wasn't really a great performance. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I just think it's going to be one of those things where... Ugas is, is, is making every round competitive and, you know, maybe making it, it seem a little uncomfortable, but I think that Spence's work rate is just gonna, you know, once Spence just steps on that gas pedal and he just doesn't, he just doesn't let go. Um, and I don't think that Ugas has the power to really keep Spence off of him. I don't think Spence is going to knock him out. I don't think Spence is going to stop him, but I just think it's going to be one of those fights where Spence wins by four, five, six points. So, like, on paper, it doesn't look close. Eight, four, nine, three. It's like, all right, he, he got washed. But, you know, Cotto, Cotto Mayweather is kind of a similar example where it's like, all right, Mayweather won, you know, fairly easily on points. But when you watch that fight, it was no easy fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, Every round was competitive. Yeah, Mayweather was winning most of them. But, um, you know, Cotto was in that fight. Every every round was competitive. I think it'll be something like that, where I think that on paper, it might seem a little lopsided. But I think when you're watching it round by round, I think each round, you know, Ugas is going to be alive in each round. But like I said, I just think that Spence's work rate, I think he's going to step on the gas pedal. I think he's going to win the fight for the most part, on, on volume and work rate, uh, work rate alone, Ugas is not really, like, the busiest fighter, and he's not, you know, a heavy hitter where I think he's going to catch Spence, you know, because Porter, too, Porter has, uh, me and my boy were just talking about this, Porter is, is very aggressive and steps on the gas pedal and doesn't stop and shit like that either, but Porter comes in a different way than Spence does. Porter's a little bit more reckless, um, Porter takes some shots coming in sometimes. I'm not trying to shit on Porter. I'm just saying that Porter's aggression is definitely different than Spence's aggression. Spence is a, a very controlled and efficient aggression. And um, he just seems like he has a lot in the gas tank. Like he just keeps, he, he's able to keep up with that pace throughout, 
you know, almost keep it exactly the same through all 12 rounds. So, I don't know. We'll see, man. Like I said, I think Ugas will be in there. I think Ugas will make it competitive. But I got Spence 8-4 at the end of the day. Peace.